Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, uh, sometimes you need a foe. Oh. Men gon' lie, women gon' lie. You're looking for the truth and the numbers don't hide. Looking for the root of all evil, then you need to go open up the briefcase. Just a spectacular afternoon for football here in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina as EA Sports welcomes you inside Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Carolina Panthers. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. carry here for Joe Mixon. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. They go play action with Burrow. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. It's Burrow. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Brian Burns in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And for a second straight play, just nowhere to go thanks to this Carolina defense. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. And that is incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. Seven yard punt with a net of 40 following a seven yard return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. 
The line of scrimmage. It's Logan Wilson there to bring him down. Brings up second and ten at the 29-yard line. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week. Three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away. And that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback and then no one plays well. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. They'll give it to Mixon, and this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And a good return here as he takes it up past the 30-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. And those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Now it's a bootleg with Bridgewater. Flushed out right. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. So he'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Bridgewater. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Ross on the return. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot. Are you thinking you got three on the board for sure? And to come away with nothing? That's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah. Will they make up for it? A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Give him 32 on the play. Now Burrow. 
They'll set up the screen here to mix it. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. We're scoreless after one. Quarter with no score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. He rifles one that's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. The second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? That one going to be complete to David Moore. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Bridgewater going to give this to McCaffrey. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Now second and six. Bridgewater, a play fake to McCaffrey. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. That is caught at the seven. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. The goal line. A pickup of two brings up second and goal. They run with Thompson. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. On the ground, McCaffrey fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out, and the Bengals grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Pardon me, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. They've had multiple opportunities on offense and still haven't scored any points. Felt like they wanted to loosen things up, throw it downfield, and see if maybe they could get a big play and a quick strike. Burrow once again here on second and ten. Going deep downfield for Ross. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. And now Burrow got to be intercepted yet again. Picked off by Dayon Buchanan. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. The third. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. On first down, this is McCaffrey. What's doing out there, boy? He'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey, his second touchdown on the season as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Extra point attempt to come here. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. Makes the score Panthers 7. Bengals nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. 
The Bengals drive about to get going. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Yitor Gross Matos able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. And it's third down. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Going deep downfield for Ross. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 31 yards on the punt there. And that will come the offense as they take over. At their own 31-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. First down, Bridgewater. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey, and he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. To throw, Bridgewater escaping the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Yeah, not much there that time, and I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he'd just throw the ball away, and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. At the Bengals' 46-yard line. On second down, McCaffrey. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And here's Joseph Charlton now as he'll punt it away for the second time. across the 15-yard line. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Uh, 
The Bengals drive about to get going. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. the gun. It's Burrow. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. Four yards the pick up. First down. Pick up on the play. And Burrow going to throw again. And he finds a man on a crossing round. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 23 yards the final tally. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards on back to back plays there, and that's another first down. Second and 10. To the air again, Burrow. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Now it's Burrow. Eluding the pressure, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. So it's halftime here in Charlotte with the Panthers out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. McCaffrey on the return. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Bridgewater now from the 50. Flushed out right. That's to McCaffrey complete. 
He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. Brandon, you know this is going to be discussed because this is the fear of all the backs when they run this type of a route. They've got to find the football, and sometimes they don't see the defender. And in this case, he took a pretty good shot for his efforts, but give him credit, able to hold on to the football. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's a 15 yard line. From the red zone now, Bridgewater. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he'll be taken down at the two yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Another Panthers first down. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. And he'll get this just up past the 20, but a marker is down. Let's get the call. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, here's Burrow. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Jeremy Chin puts it off. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore. And that'll bring up second down. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Partner, he was going through his progressions, not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it, and he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And out of bounds right around the 20. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. First and 10 at the 20 yard line. Mike 55, Mike 55. So we got man, man, man. <laughs> On first and 10, Bridgewater. Flush to his right. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. 
Let's get the call. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against them. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Bridgewater. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. First and goal at the six-yard line. They go play action here on first down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. From six yards away. And the Panthers add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Now he'll try to run with this. Brought down around the 16 or 17. Showed some tough running, but couldn't free much space. Four yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. They get just a yard back there, and now they'll be looking at a tough third and 15. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now Bengals on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and 15. Burrow looking to pass. Going deep downfield for Ross. And now here is another interception. Dante Jackson picks it. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. That is now five interceptions that he has thrown in this ball game. If I ask you to speculate what's possibly going on in his head, what would you say? Well, if he's as mentally strong as I believe he is, he understands that not all of these picks have been his fault. You know, some of the throws, yes, but there have been a good number of them where he hasn't been helped by his own receivers, and they've turned into interceptions. So he knows if he keeps firing, perhaps good things can happen, not just in this game, but especially in later ones. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. Bridgewater now. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Bills, they get the takeaway, but that's just step one. They still have a lot of work to do. But they don't want to focus on that now. Now it's about getting the ball in the end zone and hoping they can take it away again. Yeah, still three-score game, though, fourth quarter. The Bengals drive about to get going. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. Got a man open. It's Ross. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. From the gun to give to Mixon. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. 
A big play there for Cincinnati. 44 yards. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11. Throwing middle, and it's complete. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. A gain of nine brings up third down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And this is going to be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Fourth down, here's Joe Burrow. And my goodness, another interception. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And a return just down across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Well, all I can do up here is just shake my head. I mean, six interceptions. I cannot imagine what he's thinking between the ears right now. But just think of how it is for his teammates, because after the first few, you know they're going over to him. Hey, we'll get them next time. Now they're probably a little bit frustrated. And if you're a receiver, you're thinking to yourself, any ball that's in the air, you become receiver and defensive back. You can't go compete for the ball so that you don't get another one picked off. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. The Panthers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and 16. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got his target. That's more. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was no third and two. That was third and 16. But they get the conversion anyway. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Throwing here, Bridgewater. This will be caught at about the six. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Trying to bust out of that losing funk. And these fans have to like this. And I, fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game, they're going to give the fans a lot of credit being at home, getting the support. But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak? And they really came together with a good week of practice. Bengals drive about to get going. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, 
you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. Now a desperation throw deep down. And this is caught. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. John Ross, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Bengals are able to draw a bit closer. point is good. And he knocks it through. Makes the score Panthers 28, Bengals 7. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Christian McCaffrey to return it. And they'll get him down inside the 30th to 27. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 27 yards. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Steps away to his left. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. Bridgewater here to throw. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. They'll throw again, Bridgewater. Flushed out right. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder what's their motivation because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watch.